it is really a pleasure to uh, to be sharing with you the excitement of uh, writing a research paper and publi publishing it in a conference or a journal this idea was discussed long back uh, when we recently organized this uh, ifip human work interaction design conference you know at pune in october and uh, anirudh and myself you know anirudh joshi from iit mumbai we discussed that we should have some workshops on paper writing so that uh, you know uh, people get an insight into how a paper is written and 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 uh, thereby we also improve the quality of papers that we get for the conference however for uh, the conference that we had in october we couldn't do that but uh, the new conference which is being announced by uh, uh, industrial design center that is india human computer interaction it's going to be in march uh, 2010 so for this conference we we thought that yes we should have such workshops maybe at pune mumbai and even other places wherever people can share whatever and help the community to you know come up with good quality papers so with that intent this event was decided to be organized at pune and uh, i'm really thankful to Prof professor vinay uh, from uh, symbiosis institute of design to have uh, you know offered the the wonderful conference facility you know so that you all could come and we could uh, have this sharing uh, experience sharing uh, with you so thanks a lot and uh, with this i start my presentation so uh, as i have titled it significance of research and paper writing process and benefits so um, what is uh, important here you know is that uh, paper writing is not just paper writing it is research paper writing it means it implies research paper writing we are not discussing newspaper writing novel writing okay or any other fo form of writing but we are discussing essentially it implies that it is research paper writing so research paper writing and it's not just writing me writing a paper is not enough publishing it is more important because a published paper has uh, gone through a review process okay and and thereby it is accepted as you know having some sort of novelty some sort of useful information in it that's that is the implied understanding so writing a paper is not enough publishing it in a conference or in a journal or in any other uh, you know uh, for i mean different forms of publications is very very important so research paper is essentially not just a piece uh, of the present uh, you know world like for example i present a paper today it's not just that it actually is holding two uh, you know uh, you know two parts of time i mean one is the past and the other is the future okay a good paper is holding both these strings in hand when we give references or citations okay they are about the past work what has been done related to this topic in the past and the state of the art okay and what you write is actually supposed to take people or take that topic a little bit into the future you know it is trying to stretch it stretch the boundary a little bit maybe even by 1 mm but that 1 mm of novelty is essential in a paper way, you know when you when you write a paper so that's what actually is stretching it pushing it into the future you know something which has not been done so far you know you propose something new and and that element of novelty is important so when you write a paper you have to remember that you are somewhere in between the past and the future of that topic okay and you are trying to push it into the future and you always write for the future when i write a paper you must remember i am not writing it for the past i am writing it for the future so that people who read it benefit from it so as i said it is always research paper writing you know so i must discuss a little bit about research aspect of it because it should not end up as the newspaper writing you know where you sensationalize where the facts are not verified or you go by or you it's not novel writing where you start writing 